Malaya from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create this awesome intro. Alright, so that looks very cool. If you don't wish to follow this tutorial or you want to support our YouTube channel, you can buy the exact template with the link in the description so you can just edit your text and you're good to go. And yeah, for those that do want to follow this tutorial, let's get started. I'm going to create a new composition, make it full HD and rename my composition main comp. And I will make it 30 FPS, 300 frames long, which means 10 seconds long and click OK. Then I will go to my text tool and click on my canvas and just enter my text to tolerate it. I'm going to select my text and I'm going to choose the font Lado with a medium um, boldness and then I'm going to switch it to solid colors. Where There we go. And for the align tab I'm going to center my text. Right click on your text in the layer panel and go to layer styles gradient and I'm going to open up that gradient right here and edit my gradient. I'm going to make my white color pretty gray, as like so, and then uh, for my black colors I'm going to make it a little bit brighter, maybe we can go bright on the top and maybe darker on the bottom, uh, so that's completely up to you, just play around with your settings a little bit and click OK, and then I will duplicate my text layer, duplicate it, and with the bottom layer I'm going to press S on the keyboard and I'm going to uncheck the aspect ratio. And then for the first one, um, I'm going to set it at 99. And what that's going to do, it's going to uh, scale it down, uh, well, on the horizontal axis, and that's going to give it a 3D feel. Currently, you don't actually see anything about it because uh, you have to change your layer style gradients to give it that look. So go to into the edit gradient right here. And now we can make this a little bit brighter. And there we go. You can see that it's already doing something. Uh, maybe for the top one, I'm also going to make it white. And then right here, we'll make it darker and play around with these colors a little bit until you're satisfied with whatever you have right here. Uh, let's pick this color and click OK. And there we go, we have our text. And for the first one, I actually want it to be a little bit darker, so I'm going to gradient again and make this color even darker. OK, so I like this one. And then right here, maybe almost white. OK, so let's say we now have some kind of chrome text, and actually I want it to be a little bit brighter sooner. Make it a little bit darker on the top. And there we go. So now we have a 3D feel, looks pretty nice. We have our text and I'm actually going to select my text and go to layer, pre-compose it and rename this to tile, click OK. And now what I want to do is actually duplicate my title. Well, actually, I'm going to start with this title. Uh, so let's go to Effect, and I'm going to use a uh, transition, linear wipe. And I'm going to set this at 50%. And now you can see that this is cut off. What we want to do is go to Effects and search for Card Wipe. And then I'm going to apply my Card Wipe and just put it before my Linear Wipe. Then if you are going to play around with this here, so with the completion, you're going to see, uh, yeah, it's doing some funky stuff, so pretty cool. Uh, we want to increase actually our columns and rows here. So let's set the columns and the rows to something like 10 and increase the columns until you're just satisfied. It's completely up to you. Um, but let's start with something like, uh, well, 80 sounds fair, I, th I suppose. Uh, let's, let's use 60 for now. And we're going to animate this here, so this part, so make sure that you have something like right over here. We can play it with the width a little bit. Okay, let's say we're going to start here. I'm going to click on the stopwatch for my transition completion, go one second forward and just set it at 100%. And now your text is right here. So now we have something like this. And actually the width, I'm going to make it smaller. So we have it coming like so, which is pretty cool. For the card skill, you can actually play around with this as well. We can set the flip direction to random and then you're going to see it a little bit more vividly, I suppose. And from left to right, uh, make sure that it's currently set at left to right and that your linear wipe is actually showing the left to right part of your text. And then we can click on our title and duplicate it. 
Now right here I want to set my uh, transition angle to minus 90 and now we have something like so. So actually, yeah, uh, left to right, we have to set it also to right to left for the second text. So I'm going to set this from right to left title and this left to right title like so. And now we have something like this, which looks really cool actually. I'm going to select both of my titles, press T on the keyboard and select the stopwatch for my my opacity. I'm going to move this one second forward and set this to zero. Now it's going to fade in like so and actually I want to set this a little bit closer towards the start and now it's fading in but it's also making this cool uh, animation. So this is pretty cool. Now I want to duplicate both of these titles. I'm going to set them on top right here and then I'm going to click on the first one and I will set my um, columns here to something a little bit crazier, maybe 100 and go to the beginning. So we can only concentrate on these texts. So let's solo these and set it the same 100 for the second text here from the right to left. And then we can also go into the random uh, rotation jitter and play around with these settings a little bit. So uh, let's see what we can do. Uh, let's play with one first and the speed, uh, well, you can play with all these settings, so just go and uh, start doing some funky stuff there. Maybe for the animation we also want to do some cool stuff here. And as you can see, if you're going to increase these numbers, your text is going to start doing these kind of things. And actually for the speed I want to set it to 1. And let's preview. And there we are go going to get our animation, This so this looks very cool actually. So I'm going to the beginning of my timeline and I'm going to create new stopwatches for the amount of my jitter. If I'm going to move it forward, like right over here at one second, I can set this back to zero and we're going to get something like this. I'm going to the beginning of my timeline I'm going to run these up to 50, 25 and 5 for example. So we can copy these on the other one, go to the rotation jitter and go right here 50, 35 and 5 and I suppose these are the same values. And then again go for the stopwatches and animate it at 1 second to be 0. And now if we're going to unsolo this we're going to get this kind of animation. So really cool, if we are going to hold control, press A on the keyboard, we select all our layers, press U on the keyboard, we can actually select all these last keyframes and maybe offset them if you want it to take longer. Right click, keyframe assistance, easy ease, so they are going to get a smoother animation, uh, well they're going to get a smoother stop, uh, let's say. And you're going to see that, yeah, that this is starting to look something uh, decent. So I'm going to, uh, again, hold control and press A on the keyboard and close these down. And you can, of course, play a little bit more with the rows here. So if we're going to click here in the animation, you can go in here, uh, maybe duplicate it one more time. It's completely up to you. And you can see right here, um, let's say we're going to use the columns and increase it even more. And you're going to get more things like this and that way you can really build it up to become something like so. And that way you can really build it up to become something more detailed. Um, but of course, um, yeah, it might become a little bit too much as well. So it might be possible that you can just keep it simple and you're going to get pretty decent results. Okay, so let's preview it once more. I actually want to do the animation a lot uh, slower, so I'm going to select my um, last keyframes again and offset it a little bit further away. And yeah, this looks very cool. I'm going to close everything down right now and actually I'm going to select my first layers and I'm going to the layer precompose title sequence 01 for example and I'm going to press OK and then I'm going to duplicate that text uh, title sequence 01 and this we want to put on top and this is going to be like our blue kind of wave that we had so I'm going to create a new composition and I'm going to rename this to wave uh, alpha or luma and click OK. Right click new and create a new solid layer and click OK. And then I'm going to actually change this color to white and I'm going to select my ellipse tool right here for the mask, click on my circle, uh, on my solid, I'm sorry, 
and click in the center, hold control and shift and that's going to make a perfect circle like so. If we're going to click on our mask, we want to actually animate the beginning and end. So I'm going to click on the stopwatch for the expansion and make it disappear that way. And then like at 75, I want to increase it to fill the entire space here. So now we have something like this. I want to duplicate that mask now and I want to open up these settings. And right here, I want to play around with the expansion. So right here, I actually wanted to set it to subtract and I want to make it a little bit smaller and that way we're going to get something like this and of course right here we also want to make it smaller so let's see if we have something that looks good okay looks pretty decent and right here you can go for a turbulence displaced and apply this to our solid layer and that way if we're going to set the size to 25 or so and increase the size here we're going to get something like this and maybe here we want to increase the expansion or decrease the expansion a little bit. So we have a little thicker on the sides. And then we can also go for maybe a, a little bit of blur. Uh, maybe let's try CC vector blur. Uh, we can do some really cool stuff with that as well. Uh, let's keep it as it is right here. And maybe apply another displacement. Uh, make this like smaller, like five. And maybe make something like this. And this looks pretty good. And actually at the beginning I want to make it a little bit thicker okay okay so this looks very cool I'm going to use this uh, as my reference I'm going back to my main composition and import that wave luma that we just made and put it right here toggle the switches until you see the track mat option right here and for the title sequence that we just duplicated right here we can set the track mat to luma so actually I'm going to solo it so you can see what I'm talking about it's one of the animations but it's a softer animation and I want to set this to luma mat and now it's going to only cover the white part. So everything that's white, what we just made, is going to show our text. If we're going to click on our text, we can go for effect, generate and add a fill to it and maybe change it to a nice blue color. I'm going to set my mode to add and just in solo it and see what it's doing here. And it's actually looking pretty decent. We can actually uh, select both of these layers and duplicate it. So control D on the keyboard. And maybe you want to offset this a little bit. So you can play around with that as well and maybe change it to an overlay or whatever you want and that way if you're going to give it a nice overlap it's going to give you some uh, color variation which looks uh, cool of course and I'm going to re... well I'm going to select these here layer precompose wave 01 wave transition click OK and then I'm going to set this to add and actually we can delete this here and just duplicate it once more and set this to overlay just offset it a little bit and that way we're going to get something like this quite similar and apply the perfect glow to one of these and there we go we get some nice glow we can increase our threshold a little bit and maybe play with the intensity but it's actually looking pretty nice and apply it to the other one as well and there we go and again increase it and maybe we can de decrease it right over here to so 0.05 and that way it's a little bit softer right here but if we're going to play this back it's also going to look very cool and currently this is our animation all right so now I'm going to select everything and just layer precompose it as a title animation and click OK I'm going to right click new or actually I'm going to import a texture I'm going to import a nice texture for my background I'm going to use a texture like this and I'm going to put it in the background, go for effect, color correction, curves and color grade your background a little bit to look a little bit darker, I suppose. Also, I'm going to apply a tint effect so we don't have any color in there. And actually, I want it to be even darker. So I'm going to set my white to be a little bit more gray, maybe a little bit of blue. We can add a little bit of blue color in there, um, but you can see this is already looking a lot better. We can also add a new light to the scene, but we'll do that later. Toggle the switches and make both of these layers a 3D layer. Click on your background and just put it, uh, press P on the keyboard and put it like 10,000 um, in Z space and then just scale it up until it fills the room again. Then right click new and create a new camera. And I'm going to click OK. I use a 35 millimeter camera and actually we'll have to scale up our background a little bit more like so. And then click on the P for uh, the position of your camera and I'm going to click on the stopwatch and like, well, at the end of my timeline, I'm just going to zoom in like so. 
and now we're going to get a nice uh, camera animation you're going to see a little bit of depth in the background as well I'm going to uh, create a new light and actually I want to um, just make my sh well, my background pop a little bit more so click OK and press B on the keyboard for your light and just set it at 10,000 as well and just put it a little bit less press AA twice well A twice on the uh, keyboard and then increase the radius and intensity and of course the fall off so we have some kind of feather in there click on your title animation also tap A twice on the keyboard and accept lights turn it off so we still see our background but that way without the light and with the light we do get more information we can also uh, maybe add some color in there so click OK and that way you get some color in the background which looks fine as well and there we go we have the entire animation we can create a final adjustment layer and maybe add another curves on top of everything and just um, add some contrast in here this is a little bit too much uh, maybe you want some more blue colors in there And there we go, we have the entire animation. Let's do a final preview. This is basically how I have done the title. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.